Hello everyone, what's up? How are ya? I hope you're fine. My name is Anya and I haven't recorded a video or a gaming video for such a long time that I don't really remember how everything works. But I was really in the mood for uh, playing a game today. So I thought I'd look for something short that maybe I can play through tonight. It's 3 a.m. already, so I don't have that much time left until the sun comes up, and, uh, yeah. But I think I have, uh, the camera is on the whole screen now, so, uh, geez, I haven't done this in ages. It should be up in the left corner now. So, the game is Adios, and, uh, it's short. That's basically all I know. And you play a pig farmer for the mob. And you don't want to uh, do that anymore. Tab, open journal. Tell him I'm done. Okay. Tab, close journal. The confession. I can't do this anymore. What? This. What, mornings? No. All of this. You mean the deal? Afraid so. What do you mean? You, you need better pay? Different hours? No, nothing like that. I'm just... You know, done with this. Uh... Uh-huh. Okay. You wanna... Huh? You wanna what? No? Yeah, sure? I, I guess he's wanting, he wants to ask, you wanna quit? So, yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Oh, okay. Here you go. Oh, shit. So, you, uh, you're done, huh? Yep. You do understand what that means, right? You pick up. Oh, you do understand what that means? Yeah, no. Does it mean anything? Let's take that. Does it have to mean anything? It doesn't work like that. You know that. Man, I must be getting forgetful of my old age. Uh-huh. Okay. Wait, how Nothing do I... I can do to change your mind. Throw E. I'm overwhelmed already. I mean, as I always am, I'm extremely tired. I only got three hours of sleep last night, and today I was at the gym. And I'm all pooped out, so, yeah. <laughs> um, nothing I can do to change your mind. Nope, I'm afraid not. You're welcome to try. Nolus. I'm afraid not. Hmm. Uh. Well, okay. let's go get some coffee. Talk things over. Oh, coffee. Come on. Yeah. I already got mine. <laughs> Sorry for that. The breakfast. Mm, mm, mm. Smells delicious as always. Ah, Sadie was the real cook. Hey, don't sell yourself short. Not much that's better than your home-cooked eggs. Mm. Hope you don't mind. I left out the bell peppers this time. Mm, can't stand them. Mm -hmm. Oh well. Low carb. Uh, me neither. Sadie liked peppers. No jalapenos. Who was Sadie? Sadie always liked peppers, though, so I put up with them. Not to change the subject, but how long have we been doing this for, you think? Fifteen years, just about. Ah. Uh, summer of 78. Why'd we meet? When was it? Wait, when is this game taking place? Um, needed cash, Bill was sick. Let's go with Bill was sick. Bill was sick. Oh, and so you dead. couldn't afford a doctor. Well, we couldn't or we'd have managed. No. Nah. No, we could not. So you needed my help. <sighs> you were gods. Well, here's what I remember. I had a problem that night and Jimmy was trying to help me solve that problem when who should come in through that door but you? 
Mm, yes, I thought Jimmy could help. Let's go with the short answer. Well, I may have been a little tipsy. That's what, not what it said there. <laughs> it drove you home that night. As you're so fond of telling me. Uh, Jimmy knew we could help each other, so he called up Tony. We agreed, made a deal. We all agreed. Ugh. Anyone ever tell you you're no good at making coffee? What's so hard making coffee? Unless you don't put in enough powder and then it's too weak, but or too much and it's too strong, but... Sadie did. All the time. <sighs> Thought you'd have got it better by now. Well, Sadie made the coffee. I made the bacon. Uh, it's good bacon. You know, when I was a kid, I thought pigs were all pink with curly tails. Yorkshires are. Not a red waddle. American breed. Not a lot of them out there, you know. That's so? Mm-hmm. Always thought it'd be nice, you know, to raise pigs that was different. I had some Yorkies way back. Must have been, I don't know, before the service. Mm, long time ago. Yeah, I'm an old man. <laughs> you and me both. So why the Waddles? Huh, funny name. Like I said, American breed. Nearly went extinct. Thought I'd do my part to keep them alive. And that tastes good. <laughs> you aren't wrong. You know, the other day I was reading the paper. Look at you, an intellectual. <sighs> it, maybe. Maybe. Anyways, I read that pigs were as smart as us. You believe that? Is uh, you going somewhere with this? I suppose so, not particularly. Because I'm gonna fall asleep. There's nothing much to do so far, huh? Not much action. Well, you uh, going somewhere with this? Nah, just thinking about my food. What's there to think about? Nothing, I suppose. Just never thought about it before. Do you think the pigs know? Know what? That they're food. Oh, pigs don't think like that. How do you know? Because I know pigs. Pigs ain't like us. Well, sure, they're smart. They eat, they sleep, but they do not plan. They don't think about the future. And I oh, suppose you, you do? Every man does. I think I'm just about finished up here. What do you say I, um... What do you say I accompany you today? Hmm. What? Seriously? What? Help out with the farm chores? I chose to... Shovel manure, milk goats, stuff like that? Sure. Always wanted to know how to milk goats. As long as you're okay with shoveling manure first. What about your sidekick? Protégé. When I retire, he'll be the man you'll be dealing with. Good guy. Smart. Discreet. Mm, ambitious. Like you, I guess. But, uh, listen. I told you already. I'm quitting. We'll see. It's a little loud. Oh god, I'm so tired. I hope I can do a little more than just... What's with the numbers? So, uh... Huh. Let's go to this 30... Oh, is it the distance? Let me see, is he... Oh yeah, he's following, okay. Approaching scene. Huh. I've always wondered what was in this shack. Have you now? Figured it was just some old shack at first, but every time I asked what was in there, you haven't been forthcoming. I have not, no. Tried to take a look in the window once. <laughs> Did you now? Enter the shack. Pull the cord. Don't pull the cord. I'm hoping it's for the light. Ta-da! Oh. Beautiful, right? The Pop soda. Machine. <laughs> Here I figured you had a deep dark secret. <laughs> we have a deep dark secret. This here is one of my hobbies. What, mm. collecting them? Well, yeah. sure I collect them, I guess, but that's not really the point. Is there a point to any hobby? Uh, it depends. What I meant it's was that it's no fun. fun to just collect them, I, I fix them up. That's where the real fun is. Mm, makes sense. Small 
little story to uh, about root beer. When I was on vacation in the States with my parents for the very, very, very first time ages ago, my parents bought root beer because they thought it was beer alcohol with alcohol, just normal beer, and turns out it wasn't, and they hated the taste. But I liked it, so I drank all the root beer they bought. I don't even know if you can have root beer in Germany. Maybe meanwhile you can. I mean, meanwhile you can get everything here that you can get more or less all over the world, but back in the days you couldn't. So what do we do in here? Oh wait, I'm, I'm supposed to speak. You, uh, you got any hobbies yourself? Hmm? Me? Well, well, who else am I talking to? I mean, you know, who doesn't have hobbies? Well, what's yours? I know, I've known uh, people who don't reading, have hobbies. Reading, I guess? Reading isn't a hobby. Yeah, of course it's a hobby. What do you think libraries are for? Well, everyone reads. No. Heck, I read the paper every day. That's not reading. But reading isn't a part of your personality. It's just a thing people say they do when they don't have any other hobby. That's you not really true. That? I used mm -hmm. to read a lot. I knew someone who read every single day. She said she loved the smell of books. Yes, I do the too. The texture of the of the pages on her fingers. The smell of books she even bound books. Was. Her hobby wasn't reading, it was books. You put too much thought into this. Well, a hobby is something you do because you're passionate about it. If it's something you're not wholly in love with, then you're still trying to figure out what your hobby is. So, you got a problem with my passion? Uh, uh, no, no, you said I guess. No one says, I guess, when they love something. Is love a requirement for a hobby? Absolutely. Love's a requirement for many things. Ah, and so you love fixing soda machines. What's going mm -hmm. That is correct. <laughs> Why? It relaxes me. I just, I don't know, soda machines. It's an unusual thing for a man to want to fix. Don't people get paid to fix them? It is unusual, but when the missus and I would get into fights or when things was bad or I was anxious, well, I, I don't know, well, Sadie's sister, once she passed, told me that, uh, told me that it was all right to cry, that it wasn't weakness, that it was okay, and I remember sitting there in that empty living room with everyone murmuring and telling me how sorry they were, and I didn't feel like I needed to cry. Couldn't you miss her? Of course I did. Still do, but I don't know. Not everybody needs to cry. I don't need to cry. I don't get in that way, you know? Weakness? No. I don't know what she was talking about, weakness. Crying never felt weak to me. That's just not how I am. Hmm. I can't remember the last time I cried. Maybe that movie about the boy and his dogs? Oh, Where the red oh, fur grows? That one. Dogs That's are good. The one that popped at my Innocent. Head. Yeah, when a dog dies, that always moves me to tears. Is yeah. there a movie of that? But Josie I insisted. The book. Then she kept insisting. Then, psh, I don't know, I think she got offended I wouldn't cry as if she loved Sadie more than me. And she made me feel like I was, that I was something wrong. Hmm. Of course, that wasn't true. There wasn't nothing wrong with me. I just didn't, I, I didn't, I wasn't like that. It wasn't what I needed. It wasn't how I needed to grieve. This is how I grieve. This right here. When I got a problem, I fix it. And when I fix it, I fix a little part of me. And I don't know how or why, but it's healing. It's a healing thing, and that's why a man's got to have a hobby. Sorry, I... No. No, it's all right. I, I figured, you know... I figured if someone's got to know... This is my quiet little hobby. A thing I do to help me work out my worries. Well, yeah, looks like you fixed this one up real nice. <laughs> I'm proud of it. Proud of all of them. But I'm proud of this one most. Thank you for taking the time to show me. There's a... Uh, there's another reason I wanted to show this oh, to you. Oh, not more What's talk. That? If you want it... I want to talk, too. It's yours. <laughs> what am I going to do with a pop machine? <laughs> Grab yourself a nice, refreshing drink of soda every so often, you big dummy. <laughs> Wait, I, 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 I couldn't possibly. Yeah. Please. A little memento of our time together. 
Oh, come on, Memento. Let's keep this train rolling. We can work something out. You come on back by, pick up the soda machine. Take it home with you. Or don't. If you really got no use for it, I won't be offended. <coughs> I think it over. What's next? Ah, okay. I totally forgot about the journal. Tell him I'm done, move the manure, milk the goats, feed the horse, throw horseshoes, check the shed. Oh, that was last. Okay. Well. Oh, alright. That was a little bit of a uh, lot. Of, no, not a little bit. A lot of talking. And I was afraid that if I inspect the pliers, maybe I, I cut them off and... Oh, that's it. Mm, no. Okay. Well. Can we do anything with this? Do we need any of this? I mean, I'm guessing... I'm currently guessing this is just some kind of talking game, huh? Can we do anything here? Hmm, no. Oh, is there... there is a can there. What do we do with it? Oh, well, fine then, um... Well then, let's leave, huh? Oopsie. Oh wait, what's back here? Anything, uh... So I was looking for a chill little game, but this one is maybe just a little too chill. Well then, let's see, where do we, how do we... Is there a gate here somewhere? Yes. What's here? Oh yeah, and if you see stuff flying around... The horseshoes. Oh no, we did Why horseshoes? <laughs> Wait, can I pause? Oh, wait, never mind. I was just gonna say, I have tons of moth in here because all the windows are open. It's been a very hot day, and I had the lights on and the windows open, so I have, yeah, well, tons of moth. I had a grasshopper, a big grasshopper earlier. I have a ladybug flying around somewhere. <laughs> Lots of insects in here. Okay, so why horseshoes? What? Um, why not? Well, why not horseshoes? Doesn't it feel. Stereotypical. Well, look around you. My nearest neighbor lives so oh, half a mile down the road. It ain't the city. We don't have nightclubs and pool halls to go hang out at. Pool halls? Mm -hmm. What is this? 1890? This is 1992, oh, so friend. Is we got nice. shopping malls for teenagers, mm -hmm. restaurants, clubs, whatever. But pool halls? I don't even know if they had those when I was a kid. I don't uh -huh. have a pool hall. The time doesn't teenagers. pass out here as quickly, I suppose. Shortly. No need for all that uh, uh, stimulation. Ah, so you play horseshoes. Mm hmm Or read a good book? Develop photos you took for yourself? Go fly fishing? Mm hmm It sounds idyllic. Quaint, but idyllic. And you just want to give up this home-cooked paradise? It's lonely, too. Oh, I can understand. <laughs> I'm just so tired. Oh, yeah. I can understand that as well. Because it's wrong. It's wrong. No, I'll stick with the lonely. That's lonely, too. We could get you a nice place in the city. Ah, never was one for crowds. Thought you said you were lonely. I'd be just as lonely in a crowd. Oh, I know that feeling. Sadie, she, uh... Nobody else could really see me. Understand what I was. How do you figure? I... I well, what? After Saigon, when I got back... All these people were hugging their loved ones, or protesting, or whatever, and... I don't know. I never felt more alone in all my life. I was home. I should have been happy, and... I wasn't. Well, it wasn't a popular war. Is any war popular? You lost friends too, right? Yeah. But, uh... When I got home, yeah. 
It was dark, and there was Sadie, waiting for me. Porch light like a halo around her head. And I knew I wasn't alone anymore. I'm going to start mm. crying. This is... So you came back to your high school sweetheart. Yeah. I, I thought, I, I thought he'd have married her by then. I didn't think she'd wait for me. Why not? You're a handsome guy. I bet all sorts wanted you, especially back then. Women love a man in uniform. Not anymore, huh? You see that day. house on the hill? Uh, what, the uh, burned out one? I always wondered what happened there. Gary Gordon. Of the Gordon family. Went to high school with us. But, uh, well, most of us were farm folk. Sadie, her dad, was the county judge, so for us that's pretty high society. The Gordons owned a lot of land, and all that passed to Gary after his ma died. In high school, he'd been our quarterback after his pop paid off the school, but ah, he wasn't a bad athlete. Good-looking guy? Oh. oh. A real James Dean. And he had eyes for Sadie. The poor farm boy who couldn't play on the team versus the star quarterback. Shit, what kind of contest was that? Hey, who wouldn't want all this? <laughs> all right. No. And yet, when I came home, there she was. Where was Gary? He served too? Ah, oh, Gary was too rich to serve. Star quarterback had some health exemption. Didn't get drafted. Uh-huh. Uh, so then, where was he? Running his dad's business. Trying to win her heart. <laughs> didn't work. Well, she invited him to the wedding. Oh. I didn't want him there, but, well, you know Sadie. Uh -huh. Well, Gordon's owned most of the property around here, including the 200 acres surrounding that hill. Right. And he built a house. A house? W wait, that house? The very same. Looks like it was a mansion. It was. Why'd he build it? I'm losing. I don't know. To remind her what she'd given up, maybe. So, what happened to the wealthy Gary Gordon and his mansion? Hey. Well, he built it one year. Must have been... 1966 or so, and he went inside and he just disappeared. Then one night, about a year later, there was a storm and boom, no more Gary Gordon. He was struck by no lightning more Gary or Gordon. Huh. killed by the Maybe storm he now. was lonely too. Maybe. Oh crap, that was a little too far. Oh, I'm too slow. Well, that's nothing new. Oh, damn it, I'm losing. Huh? Why, why did my score just change before I even threw the thing? Yeah. Alright, you win. What next? <laughs> Tab, open journal. Okay, move the manure, milk the goats, feed the horse. Well, let's see whatever else we stumble upon first. Great, now I'd have some... Ah, here's the horse, okay. Now I'd have some seconds to tell you guys something and I just... I'm just blank in my mind. Where's the... where's the... the horse? Okay, guess don't you what? want a tractor? Don't need to go inside. What don't you want a tractor? What what's that got to do with? What's that anything? got to do with anything? Well, pigs I get, goats too. Some fellas have chickens horses. and cows, and that's all well and good. But what's the point of a horse? Horses are God's most beautiful creatures. <laughs> what you just keep a horse around because they're beautiful? Horses belong on farms. I saw uh -huh. a horse today too. Uh. You know, you haven't got a saddle for him, so you don't ride him. He's no racehorse. Can't eat him. What's the point? Well, I don't see the point in a farm without a horse. Hmm. Gotta have a horse. Uh, and what's this about them being beautiful? Beautiful. You know, beautiful, he says. Spindly legs and bloated bellies and those weird, weird teeth. Sleep standing up. Who sleeps standing up? Something wrong with that. Aren't you gonna say something? 
No. Oh, pet the horse. Ow. Oh. One day. How do I pet the horse? One day, maybe the speller will understand. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Uh, to me, I mean. I keep apples here because he likes them. How do I pet the horse? Likes the salt lick, too. Want to uh -huh. feed him one? Uh, nah, I'm good. Feed the apples. I just fed that poor horse 20 apples. Suit okay. yourself. All right, here you go, boy. No, no, I gotta get going. Why don't you walk on out to pasture rest a spell? Oof. Horses give me the willies. Can't see why. Now on my way to the gym, I walk past... Well, just this place and they, they have a big pasture and to, when I I, uh, I had to wait at the light to, for me for it to turn green and then I just turned my head and there was a horse and I'm like oh <laughs> not used to seeing one there and then yesterday I took a walk with my mom we walked through the little woods I so often tell you about we walked a different way than I go when I go by myself and two girls on horses passed by us as well and there was a lot of horse poop on the on the path so uh, yeah hmm. great I, I remember my my great grandfather no not no not my great grandfather my just my grandfather I because I was gonna say horse poop is great for roses as um fertilizer and then my grandfather popped into my head because he would always get horse poop for fertilizing his roses Right. Oh God, I'm I'm tired. <laughs> Move the manure, milk the goats. It was a weird day, kinda. Oh, I can sit here. Let me see. Huh? Ah, okay. <laughs> and my my day started off really terribly. I was in such a bad mood because I I'd been rolling around in bed for five hours, and I just couldn't fucking sleep. And when I finally fell asleep. My alarm clock rang after three and a half hours, something like that. And the neighbors are getting something done on their house, so there's a lot of clanking and, and hammering and throwing stuff and I don't know, and then sawing or whatever. The noises were so annoying. And then it was hot and <laughs> I was just, yeah, in a horrible mood. But then I went to the gym, and while I was on my way, everything got a lot better. But let me see. If they start talking now, I, I'll i talk about that. I'll talk about the gym afterwards. Do we go in here? Goat house. A uh, goat! You know, back home they call you the pig farmer. That description is apt. And yeah, you also have goats. I do also have goats. And a horse. And I had a dog. <laughs> Tried cows once. Bill raised a newt or something, but uh, it died. Well, most people have, I don't know, chickens and cows. You got goats. Hmm. So I'm Is not that supposed uh, to go judgment in here? I hear? <laughs> no judgment, no. Uh, just wondering, why goats? Goat milk. Ah, there can't be much profit in that. Oh, there's enough. Besides, I have you. Have. You still have. As I've said. I'm no longer interested in that particular revenue stream. We're the ones who sever ties. And you don't want us severing ties. No. I believe I made myself clear. You know, <laughs> I feel like we've had this conversation a couple of times now. And you still don't seem to get that I'm done with this line is just going to look really silly at the end of the day. You were asking me about goats. Yeah, goats. I like them. They like to play. They'll eat just about anything. Mm. The milk's an acquired taste, but I've always liked the cheese. Meat's good with the right curry. A friend taught me that a while back. So, you like them for the utility? I like them because they're playful. Want to get started? Hmm? Started? Milking. Mm. Mm. So, oh, now I can sit where? Here? Uh, there? Or inside on that little ah okay okay but 
I need more coffee, so I'm just gonna go get some coffee. I'll be right back, and then I'm just gonna, you know, cut, cut me going out, cut everything. Ah, oh, you know what I mean. <laughs> All right, I'm back. Um, sit. I can't. Left mouse button. Well, wait. Do I have to sit here? Where am I supposed to sit? I can't go here e either. It gets really... Ah. This is not a difficult game. <laughs> Yet I'm struggling again. I don't know what to do. Where am I supposed to sit? Come on. Oh, now the door closed. Okay. Ugh. Oh, come on. I don't have any feet. Uh, seriously, where am I supposed to sit? I mean, if I'm supposed to milk a goat, I don't think I, I'm supposed to do it out here. Can't I close the door now? Oh, come on. Game, don't do this to me. <laughs> ah! There you go. Now, now I can sit Oh, hey, there. really? Finally. <laughs> I've always wanted to try that. <laughs> well, here's your chance. My Where goats are he? smart. They know what's up, so we'll just walk up. Oh. Mm, here they are. Come on. Now they'll just take their positions here like they should. Got feet all ready for them. Just uh, you take a seat there. Uh, um, yeah, not very comfortable. <laughs> I suppose not. He's invisible now. Yeah. Now that we're seated, all you got to do is grab the teat with your thumb and forefinger, and pull. No, no, mm -hmm. no, don't pull. Just sort of rhythmically squeeze with the rest of your fingers, gently. Pushing the milk out. Oh, like this? <laughs> Just yeah. like that, yes. All you gotta do is do that till the goat's out of milk. Huh. Oh. This is kinda nice. I found it Why relaxing. They... Well, I think I could get used to this. Oh, Why really? don't you? Say what? Why not get used to this? What? And come work with you? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some folks might take issue with that. Well, can't make everybody happy. Better than ending up shot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why does it say shoot him? I still haven't done the manure thingy. What do you mean shoot him? Oh, with milk. Well, where is he? <laughs> He's outside. So this, um. Well, great. How am I supposed to do this now? And we I'm shooting all over the place, but the dude is just not there, huh? Shooting him visible him. So great. Will the game not go on now? How do I stop this? I can't. Great. Now I'm stuck here. I can't go on. Don't. <sighs> Why? I play one game after so many months and then this happens. Can I, can I? Nope. Nope. Jump. Crouch. Why am, Why do I have to jump and crouch in this game? So now what? I have to kind of... Uh, great, now I'm stuck here forever. Ugh. I'm pissed. Well, great. 
I'm going to experiment and see how I can get out of this. Hopefully I have to replay everything. Let me see what happens if I press escape. Restart the scene. What, what am I saying here? Why did I say Fiend? What? Oh, okay. Ah, thank God he's in there. Okay, wait. We can skip the dialogue you know, now. That is, and yeah, I do all. Hmm. <laughs> Go. Uh, 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 I believe. You know. I like it. Uh, I like it. Hmm? Milk it. All right. So. uh... Oh, hey, is... really? <laughs> I always wanted to try that. Well. Okay. Here's a chance. And why can't I skip the goats now? are smart. They know what's up, so <sighs> they'll just walk up. Mm, here they are. Come on. Now they'll just take their positions here like they should. Okay, Got feet I... all ready can't for skip. them. Just to, here, you take a seat there. <sighs> uh, uh, not very comfortable. <laughs> mm, suppose not. Yeah. And no. Ah, there you go. Uh, like this? <laughs> Just like that, yes. All you gotta do is do that. Huh. I found it relaxing. Well, I think I could get used to this. Mm, why don't you? Say what? Why not? Why? Sure. <laughs> mm. Okay. Well, let me see. Right in the air between the hey, eyes. Hey! <laughs> oh. No. Gun down. Life over mm. just like that. I usually get to shoot back. Well... We all wind up dead in the end, don't we? I'd rather live as long as possible. Hmm. What good is that? Living? What good is living if you ain't happy? You says oh, I'm not don't happy. Get me started. I'm not. You could be. I don't think I could. Well, that does it for the goats. Still uh, thinking about what I've been saying? I haven't stopped. Changed your mind? No. No, I have not. Put right on target, okay. Okay, so now we gotta move the manure, and I guess then the game is over, huh? The shovel. Where is it? Oh, What's there. the wheelbarrow for? Haul. Hauling what? Fertilizer, manure, shit, cow pies. So, what word are we gonna use? Let's stick with the manure. Manure. Ah, and what are we supposed to do with this crap? We are going to fertilize. Well, not now, it's October, but we're going to put it in a nice big pile where it belongs. Uh, we? Well, you did say you wanted to help. Yeah, guess I did. So help. And suit, huh? Pick up that shovel over there. We'll shovel it in, wheel it out, dump it, and we're good. And you do this every day? Mm-hmm. Most every day. Mm -hmm. And you want to keep doing this every day. It's my routine. Shoveling shit. Someone's got to do it. <laughs> that, uh, True, though. that isn't the first time you've told me that. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah? Vietnam. Yeah. You know, I did some digging on you, personally, not the shit kind. <laughs> know what I found? <laughs> I reckon you'll tell me. You went personally, back. Personally, not the shit kind. Aside. What happened that day in the valley? You saw the report. I'm not going to talk about it. Come on. No. Suit yourself. But you got a medal. You didn't have to go back. Had a wife and kid here. In a time where most of us were trying to figure out how to stay home, you went back. You going somewhere with this? Hmm. Think it'd be fun if you told me why? While we're shoveling shit? I was recon. You know that, I reckon. Was in the hospital, staring at the ceiling. Magazines you? next to me on the bed. And I... Oh. I had this, uh... Moment. A moment of clarity. A revelation. Uh-huh. And the revelation was this. Them protesters weren't doing a damn thing. The, the hippies and the... The bands weren't changing anything. You know who was? The Vietnamese? The Russians? No. The news. You hit someone hard enough day in, day out with the realities of war, pretty soon they'll tire of it. Vietnam? 
that was our first time that close to war. So, uh, I figured, uh, You figured? You ain't the only one of us who's killed people. Well, why do you think I offered you that job back in 74? Turned it down for the same reason I went back. They were telling us our patriotic duty was to go and fight for our country. Well, that's what I did. You weren't recon when you went back, though. Went back with a camera. Talked them into letting me help with the press, keeping them safe and all that. So I did. And I took pictures. Took all the pictures I could. I fought in a different way. Did you win? We pulled out a NAM, didn't we? Mm-hmm. And now you're here. Great big war hero. Shuffling shit. Yeah. Shuffling shit. Honest art. The tree. You know what this is? A uh, tree? <laughs> well, have you ever Very seen cool. a tree like it? A, a tree's a tree. No. Remember all them roasted chestnuts at Christmas? Oh, was it a chestnut oh, sure, tree? sure. I mean, I kind of figured. Been by often enough to see the chestnuts myself. Why? Is it special to you? This is an American chestnut tree. No. Oh, hey, Saul. Uh, he's telling I us about his American chestnut tree. Well, American, huh? Thought they all died. What? <laughs> you remembered. Pays to remember things. Like the American chestnut. Uh, um, I, I, I'm a little lost here. Oh, a couple weeks back, Saul came by, said you couldn't make it. Business as usual. Saul had a bucket of chestnuts, asked if pigs could eat them, so we got to talking and I told him about chestnuts. Uh-huh. And what did you learn? Pork tastes better with chestnuts. Hmm. And most American chestnuts had died off. It's true. Long before you or I was born, the American chestnut was prized for the quality of its wood. Jimmy'd like that. Oh, that he would, that he would. But this tree, there ain't many like it left. American chestnuts almost all died out because of the Asian fungus around mm. 1900 or so. The chestnut blight. That's what, like a couple hundred thousand trees? Oh, billions. Four billion trees. Damn, snuffed out practically trees. overnight. Well, lumberjacks suddenly out of work in places like West Virginia. Those economies never recovered. Uh, I thought West Virginia was coal country. And logging, too, before it all died off. Now there's trees like the General here making nuts year-round. And I feed them to the Reds, and they grow nice and fat and tasty. Seems lonely. Uh, hmm. It is lonely. Heartbreakingly lonely. To know everyone else you ever loved has passed on. Mm, that is so, so sad. I look after him and he looks after me and I don't know. Well, Sadie and I we we talked about being buried here, you know. Changed your mind? <clears throat> Brody's grave was enough for me. But uh I don't know. I thought about having him moved. I, I don't uh I don't know. You've got plenty of years left in you yet. So, what's the moral of the story? With the, the trees, I mean. Be wary of outsiders. Heck no. There are trees out there that are blight resistant. Maybe even the general here, but I'm too afraid to find out. With enough time and horticultural understanding, we could have done something. Preserved all these trees? Maybe we could have. They are magnificent. It's just... It's just a... I don't know. I wasn't trying to teach you a lesson or anything. I just... But you did make a point of it. I did do that. I just... It's a part of me is all. And God willing to live for a hundred more years. I'm... I don't know. I see myself as a custodian of sorts. And one day I'm... I just... So I'll go ahead and wait for me at the van. Hmm? Hey. Hey. Look. Look at me. You're thinking about dying. Thinking you could pass this responsibility off to someone else. 
You don't have to do this. Give the tree another decade of your time. Well, the time of my demise is sad. Someone ought to know about the tree. Jimmy is would he know sick, about this. Maybe? Oh, Jimmy would cut it down. <laughs> he would. Please. Don't tell him. Hey, I'm good at keeping secrets, but Jimmy's Jimmy. Please. Let me rest here. Oh, and if come there's on. a way. A way to. Oh, I don't know. Okay. Okay. Oh. Hey, sad. You got more to show me, right? The way. The garage, huh? No tour would be complete without the garage. I have to ask, why a sports truck? I think they're called coupe utility, but, uh... You mean, why not a sports car? Yeah, I mean... I always figured you'd have a midlife crisis like the rest of us. Sports car, motorcycle, an affair, something like that. Couldn't really say why I love these so much. Saw mine one day, fell in love. With that? Looks, mm -hmm. looks okay. I had to bring her home with me. I'll admit, it has a charm to it. But she won't run. No? Well, pop the hood, let's take a look. You're serious? Sure, already had my midlife crisis. <laughs> Motorcycle? Sports car. And these puppies, well, you know, they're similar enough. Some I've of them even use the same it. engine. We can figure this out. All right. Got some... Pop the hood from the driver's side door. Oopsie. Like here or inside? Uh... Now, let's see here. Okay. Can you get me that drop light? My eyes aren't what they were. Attach the drop light to the hood. Okay, how? Uh, with E? Wait. Sure thing. Thank you. Saul's a good kid. Hmm? What's that? Saul was a good kid. I like him. It was nice him coming by. Yeah? That's good to hear. Never met anyone with so much promise. Never? In my entire life. Saul's dad was a good man. Didn't think his kid had it. As a boy, he was too soft. But then he got older, graduated college, really came into his own. Eager. More capable than he knows. Hmm. Great listener. <laughs> Can you believe we were his age once? Hmm. <laughs> Hard to admit. When I was young, I thought I knew everything. We all do. Yeah? And now? Today I learned from you and him about chestnuts. Well, I learn something new every day, I suppose. You check the spark plugs? Mm, give me a second. Uh, what about your boy? Bill? Oh, he's fine, I guess. What, no contact? <laughs> you guess. Hey, how old is he again? Uh, born in 60, so, uh... 32, as of September. Huh. Roy would have been about his age. Yeah? Yeah. Well, what's this about you and Bill? Oh, he don't want to talk to me no more. What? Bill? Toe-headed little guy? Always friendly and outgoing? That Bill? It's, uh... It's about Sadie. Ah. Yeah. Hey, mind if I ask you a completely unrelated question? Hmm? What's with the airplanes at your neighbor's place? Oh, Chuck's farm. Chuck? Huh. Yeah, what's with all the planes? There's no runway around here. Uh, you know how farmers are. Hey, have you checked the air filter? Yeah. And, yeah, I know how you are. You got plenty of junk, too. But I've never seen anyone else with, uh, uh, what are they, World War II bombers or something? I think he has a B-36. No kidding. You got no idea what a B-36 is, have you? Nope. Yeah, have the foggiest. Well, the B-36 is a big old bomber made out of magnesium. Yeah. Biggest America okay. ever had. Took two train tankers to fill one up. And you could fly from Monday to Thursday without refueling. So why does Chuck have one in his backyard, plus all the others? I asked him about that once. Hmm. Okay. Wire's loose here. 
Where? Right there. So, what'd he say? Oh, uh... <laughs> dead navigator came to him in a dream. <laughs> what? Mm-hmm. Dead navigator from the Korean War came to him in a dream, huh. said the planes were in danger of being lost, and it was up to Chuck to save them. So, Chuck's crazy. <laughs> well, eccentric, maybe, but, uh... Yeah. Do you believe in ghosts? Mm -hmm. If I did, I'd have a different job. Why, do you? Well, I figure we all move on in some way. Energy is neither created nor lost and all that. Yeah. So you're saying a dead all navigator right. came to a farmer in the middle of nowhere, no offense, and told him that it was his job to preserve airplanes? Yep. So now there's a bunch of planes on a crazy coot's farm. And he keeps them safe. Can you think of a better place for him to be? Hmm. No. Want to try running it? Sure. All right. Start the car from the driver's side. Why is that thing in the way? Come on, come on, come on. One more time. Yay. Looks like she'll give you a few more years yet. Uh -huh. Yeah. Remember Slick? Sure. He always wanted one of these. Where is he now? Fighting Saddam. Jimmy tried to find out. Classified, I heard. Good kid. Angry. Well, maybe when he gets back... Uh, Thinking of giving him the car as, what, thanks for his service? I never wanted to be thanked for mine, but that boy's seen more hurt than any of us. Deserves better than that old Pinto of his. <laughs> yeah. Well... Where to next? Shotgun. Shotguns, mm -hmm. huh? I always like shotguns. We're gonna do some skeet Light. shooting now. Still do. I like revolvers myself. When it's for sport. Got a few of those. Oh yeah? What's your favorite? Them big slab-sided ones. They have a... a charisma. What about you? Uh, nothing special, really. 357's when I can. But this is a shotgun. Yep. Figured we could shoot some skeet. Always liked shooting skeet. Taught Bill to shoot this way. <laughs> You're a good father. Could have been better. <laughs> Name a father that couldn't. So, how do we do this? Uh, who's going first? I'll go first. I'll go first. All right, then. <laughs> this is more my speed. Hanging out, shooting guns. Maybe a few so beers I next time. I'm not sure speed. guns and beers mix, friend. Huh. Oh, sure they do. Like peanut butter and very oh. dangerous chocolate. Oh. Next time. Trust me, next time. There's no there way I hit gonna that. There's going to be a next time. Oh, there's oh. always a next time. That's it. Oh. I guess After it just. Today we are done. I guess it just hits I it. To tell you, I keep no matter where I shoot. There is no. Oh. There is no done. Oh great. I doing this. I can never do anything again. It's permanent. Kaput. Wait, I'm reusing. It's kaput. You don't mean it. If that's the way it's got to be. Oh. You have a chance. Okay. You have to listen to a to. word I've said. I've been listening. I've been listening all morning. I've been listening to you talk about being sad and lonely and refusing to listen to reason. I have my reasons. Your reasons aren't any good. But they're uh, mine. Walk me to my car. I was afraid he was going to shoot him. <laughs> Goodbye. That was it. So, this is it then. It is. Why? Why are you doing this? Because I need to. We're friends, goddammit. You don't get to get all stoic on me. I know losing her was hard, but there's gotta be something. Gotta be. I can't take care of the farm like I used to. There isn't much point anymore. So sell the farm. Move into the city. Meet someone new. Do you... Believe in hell. What? Do you believe 
fucking hell. I define hell. I'm not scared of hell, if that's what you mean. I didn't ask if you were scared, I asked if you believe. I don't know. Well, I do. And I think... I think doing this... I think that's where I'm headed. And why? You think you can buy your way into heaven? I can't take back what I've done. What I can do is do something right. Why? Because I want to see her again. Mm. That's all. I just want to see her again. And I figure... I'll do one right thing with my life. Just one thing. Maybe I'll get to see her again. One more time. And this is your one right thing. It is. There's so much How emotion. Do you know? How and do you know if any of this is true? I don't voice. know. But I got the notion. And the notion's got me. So... The least I can do is, uh... Tell you adios. Just like that. What else is there to say? Not much, I guess. No. All right, then. Have it your way. I'll be back this evening. You get an afternoon. Do whatever you gotta do. Just, uh... Leave the door unlocked. I can do that. Adios, friendo. Be seeing ya. Hmm. So, I just finished recording the game and uh, skipped through the recording. Yeah, great. <laughs> great to see all the stuttering and the... Uh, uh, oh well. Plus the file is really gigantic so I'm gonna do a cut in the middle so it won't take too forever to upload and uh, yeah well I'm sorry. Somehow it did not quite go as I had wanted it to go but oh well. So um, putting this to the uh, ending Putting this, I'm adding this to the ending of the first episode, and uh, yeah. Thank you very much for watching. I'm sorry for the horrible quality. I had not expected it to be like this, but maybe I don't know. You can listen to it while falling asleep there instead of watching it. Either way, have a great day or a great night, and uh, see you in the second part or a different video um, yeah bye